What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FC24 video. EA forgot that the clocks went forward in the UK today and so gave us the content early, which is why I'm late. But we have got, what have we got? Have we, have we got? I don't know. Uh, nothing in live or seasonal, nothing in milestones, bit of a pain. Hopefully a new Evo today would be very nice. Hopefully you guys are enjoying a good Easter weekend as well. Should you be uh, celebrating of it? 99 shooting, birthday magic, silky center half, heroic chronicles. Nothing new there. It might just be a slow day. Let's have a look at the SBCs. Do we have a new player? That Rafael Marquez. I'm very, I'm very excited about completing him. It doesn't look like we've got a new player either. Aurelian Shuameni. The Karchawis, the Fergusons, the Luki Bacchio. The Williams, ooh, the Pundit Picks, Miguel Gutierrez. If you want to be able to afford the best players and open the best packs in FC24, go to u7buy.com to buy your EAFC24 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. They already offer some of the best prices out there, but you can get an extra 6% off using promo code NEP at checkout. So with that, guys, let's have a look at this Miguel Gutierrez. Oh, uh, first of all, 93 pace, which is nice. 88 dribbling, which is nice. I assume he's going to have left mid as well. He's got whip pass plus and quick step plus. A little low on defending and physical uh, for this stage of the game, but as a midfielder, he could be quite good. Uh, it's one segment for him. An 85 rated squad. That's not even bad. That's not even bad. In terms of upgrades, we have got the 88 plus on-court icon player pick. One of three, Thunderstruck, Winter Wildcard, Team of the Year, or Future Stars icons rated 88 overall or higher. It's repeatable every two days for six days. Oof. It's quite expensive. It is quite expensive. Um, I'm not overly opposed to it, really, because it's going to be you know, a great opportunity to get some good icons. However, there's a lot of the stinky icons in here as well because 88 plus kind of keeps a whole bunch of the uh, the lower tier icons involved, doesn't it? All right, let's pop the 89 over an 88, an 88 over an 87, an 87 over an 86. I was there in the first place. So a Primex player's pack back for that 88 rated squad as well, which isn't so great. One of the 87s as well requires uh, an inform. But uh, let me know if you did if you did complete this, guys. Let me know what you got in this player pick. Let's do team of the team of the week we need to throw in here. Otherwise, pop these 87s in. I'll throw a few 88s in as well just to make it easy with the 86 because I don't have too many gold 87s unfortunately throw in the 86s and then throw in the team of the week probably an 86 should be enough yes it is lovely um and one more squad after that what do we get for that a small rare gold players pack that's actually uh better than the um better than the first pack to be fair and then another 87 rated squad with no inform so isn't it weird from ea guys there was, I can't remember what promo it was during, but there was a promo where it was so hard to get in forms. They went up to like 40, 45k. Even the team of the week player pick was expensive because 81s, 82s, 83s were selling high because everyone was just building team of the week player picks to get the team of the weeks. Now, all of a sudden, we've had weeks and weeks and weeks of that team of the week player pick. Everyone's got like 20, 30, 40 spare in their club. And all of a sudden, they're like, yeah, we don't need in forms for anything anymore. And it's just like, could you could you just please? Um, but here we go. I've got it for myself. I'll send all of that into the uh, into the club. We'll rip this one open. We're going to get... See, now Thunderstruck KCS is not actually bad. But this is why I think this might be a bit of an L. Because it's 287s and an 88. Obviously, some people are going to get some good players. But there are so many low-rated cards that are available for that... Um, for that pick. What was that? 86. What? 86 Encore Hero Upgrade. Earn a pack containing a base triple threat UCL or UWCL fancy hero rated 86 or higher. 
an 83 with an inform and an 86. I won't be going anywhere near that at all. 87 encore hero player pick was already there. Wait, wait, wait. So we've had an 87 encore player pick that was U UCL, UWCL, and Fantasy. They've now given us a 86 that includes base as well as triple threat. That's even worse than the one that was already there, EA. 83 by 10s are back, which is great. Doesn't look like we've got anything else in here. Challenges, nothing new there. Icons. Socrates, Carlos, Makalele, Ribery, Haji, Shevchenko, and the Rykard, nothing there. Exchange, nothing there. Yeah, so it actually is not the greatest amount of content, if we're being perfectly honest. You'll probably get the re-up of the repeatable stuff pretty soon. Global limits are only an 83 by 100. And the store packs. There's an Icon 88 plus, 11 rare golds of the Icon. These store packs are terrible. I wouldn't go anywhere near, near these ones with coins or points. Um, so, guys. Let me get onto a FUT bin. Oh, wait. Is Mia Ham? Was Mia Ham SBC there? And I missed it? No. Rafael Marquez, still new because of the time. 83 by 10, still new. But this Gutierrez at 30k. He's downvoted massively, probably because for this stage of the game, it's a bit garb. No, I guess because the 6pm content is broken, nobody can see his uh, stats. However, he's 2-star, 3-star. High medium work rates. We don't even know his play styles or his skill moves or weak foot. Regardless, an 88 rated card. He better be at least 4-star, four 4-star four to make it worthwhile. The icon player pick is upvoted. The hero upgrade is downvoted. The hero upgrade downvote makes downvote downvote makes a lot of sense because it is terrible. The icon player pick upvote makes a lot of sense because although um, although you can uh, where are we here? They got the ones no. Although you can get some stinkers in there. The fact that the future stars eighty eight plus icons are there. Um, is really, really nice because some of these future stars icons, where are we? Future stars. I'm being dumb and I've missed it very obviously here somewhere, haven't I? Future stars icons. So you've got Zidane banging, Ronaldinho banging, Maldini, yes. Uh, Zico, brilliant. Roberto Carlos. Who's that? Is that Rivaldo? Yeah, Rivaldo, even decent, to be fair. What, what's the SBC coming in at for price? 334k if you like, you know, if you want to equate a coin value to it. Shevchenko is an SBC. Smith's down at 160. Beckham's down at 500k. He's banging. Cannavaro would be a bit of an L. Sadorf would be an L. Petit's cheap would be a bit of an L. Nedved L. Poyo L. Crespo L. Rijkaard L. He's SBC anyway. Gattuso L. But... There's some really good ones here, especially this like top set of players. And that's just the future stars where it also includes Winter Wildcard, Team of the Year, and Thunderstruck. There's still a few Thunderstrucks that are decent. Um, but the other the other group of players that are very good still is the Team of the Year icons. There's a lot of very good ones. Ronaldo, Ham, Best was an SBC. Czech, still very much worth it. Patrick Vieira, yes. Sauer was an SBC, of course. Ferdinand banging. Mateus banging. Ribery is now an SBC, but still would be good if you got him out of the pack. Philip Lahm's decent. Zola's probably a bit too cheap now. Xavi's very good. SCN's very In fact, if you get any Team of the Year icon apart from probably Zola, you're hitting a dub. So yeah, that, that pack, guys, very decent. I don't mind it at all. That for today is going to be it. Um, I wonder, there might be a little bit more at six o'clock, so we might have a third video today. I uploaded a video earlier on talking about um, evolutions. If you want to check that out, there'll be an annotation thing above my head right about now. But if you did open the 88 plus Encore icon pick, let me know what you got. And for now, I'm going to go and watch Arsenal hopefully not lose to Man City in the second half. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.